Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. Today we have a Dwarf versus Chaos battle. Um, so I took these Chaos on in Quick Battle. And um, I brought my typical Dwarf build. Um, I'm just trying to test this build against all the different factions. Just kind of see how well it works. Um, so I kind of have a staggered deployment here. Um, wider than usual because I'm worried about hell cannons and I have these two rangers up here um, to be able to mobilize and go take out a hell cannon um, if need be. Um, so I have my four rangers, my main line of four dwarf warriors, two dwarf warriors on the flank, two long beards with great weapons, um, two more rangers in the back. This, this long beard with great weapons is the grumbling guard. I have a miner on each side and a dwarf warrior with great weapons in the back. I have a goblobber here and um, dragonback slayers. Um, and for my heroes, I have the classic rune lord and rune smith combo. So on the flank, he has a warhound over there. His main line here is um, forsaken, four forsaken. Um, and they'll actually do pretty well against dwarf warriors. Um, behind him, he has two aspiring champions um, to support these trolls so he has two of these, one on each side of the armored variant he has two exalted heroes on hell steeds um, and he has a back line of chaos warriors and chaos marauders with great weapons he has Sartharel here so Sartharel, great choice, gonna be able to jump through my lines with almost no no way really for me to stop him um, and so definitely a good choice. And he has like 65% missile resistance, so he's very hard to take down. And up in the air here, he's got a feral manticore. And so my goblobber is just going to start throwing, just because it's the only target in range. And really that thing's not going to run out of ammo, so I'm not worried. But you can see no hits there, but I'm going to score some hits on the Chaos Warriors. He's going to send these guys around to flank. I'm going to bring my uh, rangers in here, try and, it's actually doing pretty well for not, I can't even see these guys, um, but I'm going to bring my rangers back here soon, after a volley or two. Almost broke, <laughs> just because of the uh, god lobber, um, but I'm going to pull back my rangers here. I think I switched targets here just to the main line with my goblobber. What are you shooting at? I don't know, I can't tell. I'm gonna take some pot shots there at the Chaos Warhounds. Well, this guy gets back in line. And I'm actually gonna want my rangers here to be shooting at the uh, Forsaken and the Trolls. Um, both very susceptible to missiles, um, but the Forsaken with their low armor will take a especially a lot of damage um, to my rangers. So that's going to be the opening target and then once the trolls come in range I'll switch to them. Here I was shooting this Chaos Marauder with great weapons. Um, I didn't really take the time to look. Oh there you can just see the chaos. That was poor. That was a bad pun. Um, the chaos <laughs> the chaos that um, Sartharel causes here. I'm going to be casting some my buffs here. Um, and you can see just how easily he comes through the line. It doesn't. It makes it look like my troops aren't even there. Um, he's going to be pushing on all sides essentially. And here you can see the uh, Sarthrell getting all the way to my back lines with the um, dwarf warriors. I have my master runes here, uh, perking, uh, proking on the uh, Forsaken. Um, maybe the trolls would have been a good choice. Um, but I just wanted to get that cooldown going so I could use it again later on these Chaos Warriors in the back lines. I still have my miners here for support to throw them where I need. Um, and I'm going to be charging these Dragon Backslayers into this Manticore as he lands. Um, my, uh, you can see the Chaos Warhounds here catching some Rangers. Not the best move, but I am going to squash them here between my three units here. He's going to support this main fight with his Chaos Warriors. 
And, I'm, and now that he's kind of all engaged, I'm going to pull my ranger out here to try and help this dwarf warrior win. Um, and I'm also going to be targeting the trolls, and I'm going to be targeting the trolls of the goblobber. I don't even need, really need to hit. I just want that discourage aura going off here. So here you can see I route the... Uh, the Chaos Warhounds, and he's bringing in Sartharel to help just clean up this fight, do some charge damage. But once he's in charge animation, there's nothing he can do. He's going to be able to get away no matter what. See, I accidentally pulled my rangers out here, but then a glitch made them charge back in. Supporting my main line here. It's not going too well with the support of the trolls and the aspiring champions and the uh, Chaos Warriors. There's just a lot going on there. Um, and it doesn't look too good in the main line, but my two armor piercing units are still full health. Here, um, his Forsaken gets into one of my rangers, and I'm going to shoot into the side of it with my other one, and that's going to clean those guys up real quick. I'm going to I'm going to realize that chasing him around is not really worth it, so I'm going to bring these slayers in here, try and help take down the uh, trolls and potentially the Manticore. So here, you can see my rangers are going to be shooting in at the trolls. My great weapons here going up for against Forsaken. Not the best choice, but they're the only unit I have back here. And all my rangers here, you can see I'm shooting at the uh, trolls. Just trying really hard to get them off the field. My runesmith here is just popping all his abilities, trying to keep him alive. Good job here moving the Forsaken to disrupt the rangers. Um, but they are going to rout. Um, pulling out of that unit did not do them good. You can see finally I'm routing this Chaos Troll, and there goes this Manticore. My Slayers, even though my Slayers are on it, it's still able to pull off. Um, and my Rangers here with Concentrated Fire are slowly going to send off all these guys. I do have to be aware they are going to come back. Um, you can see I'm shooting into the, the back of them there to make sure they route away l at least a little bit. So Sarthrael, big problem here. Exalted Hero Blob, big problem. Um, there's not really much I can do to stop them from killing these guys. Um, I just need to try and blob in with any infantry I have and just try and survive. My rangers are going to be firing here now at Sartharel, trying to put some damage down. And these rangers are going to be trying to clean up the Chaos Trolls as they come back in. All my damages and buffs still going off here. My slayers are going to get in here and they're going to have a good time against all three of these units. You can see these trolls are back and I'm going to instantly open fire. Um, I'm going to use these rangers to try and help that one, um, but it's going to be probably too late here for these rangers. They're just going to get slaughtered. Oh, he's just picking them up, throwing them around, using him to club the other dwarves. That's brutal. <laughs> like, there he goes flying. Poor guy. Um, but the the range fire is going to, they're wavering, it should break them soon. And I use my, brought my runesmith over here to help this side, and I'm just continuing to use my rune lord here to support this fight. Sartharel definitely is better at damaging blobs than single targets. He's not that great in a 1v1 fight, so I think that's what's saving my rune lord here. Um, just really the exalted heroes, and I'm trying to blob them through the slayers to protect me. My rangers here still seeing off these guys. My goblobber is going to be tossing rocks at them to make sure their leadership stays down. And I just have to make sure, wait till this blob is able to win here. Um, you can see, oh, these exalted heroes just broke because of the slayers. Um, and hopefully they don't get away. And Sarthorial here coming, trying to end the runesmith. But again, just because there's other people around, he's going to do his splash damage animation. And that does less, far less damage than everything else. Um, but now really I just have to worry about Sartharel. You can see how he's just jumping around through my lines here. And I'm just going to swarm him with everything I have. I don't really have an option here. I am going to be casting Rune and, of Wrath and Ruin here and shooting the remains of my ammo. Um, you can see this guy's almost out of ammo. This guy's got a little bit and this guy's out. Um, and he's going to come try and get these guys. And you can see my Slayers just behind him. I know if I can just keep these two heroes alive that it won't really matter um, because I can just keep casting Rune of Wrath and Ruin every time it comes up and I'll eventually kill him even though it's not very good against single targets. So 
So I'm just going to be moving around in a blob here, chasing. He is unbreakable, though, so you have to, <laughs> you do have to kill him. But you can see just how devastating his the, his charge animation. There's the rune. Um, is he can just get through your lines without really taking any damage. Um, but eventually here, I'm just going to mob him. He's going to have to come in to try and new tech eventually, and that's when I'm always going to deal a little bit of damage, and that's all it's really going to take because he's so low. But great job here, chasing, doing damage to the rangers. Um, so pull out a little bit before he comes back in for his final charge. You can see that, just that animation right there. You can pull out of anything and it doesn't affect you. Um, just send these dwarves flying. Where are you going? I don't even know. You're just running off in the distance, that's fine. Even with the slowing aura here of the um, dwarves of the dragonback, but there eventually you're going to see him fall. It's going to be a Fyrick victory. Really good showing from Chaos here against my dwarf build. Um, you can see great kills here on two of these Forsaken. I think these are the two Forsaken that were on the flanks, um, and so the dwarves, those dwarves were not super affected by the buffs of my runesmith, and so that allowed them to get a lot more kills. Um, good kills here on these Chaos Trolls. Um, definitely a good move. You can, if you can keep them from, you know, being shot repeatedly, like what happened with the Rangers, um, then they can actually deal really well with the dwarf infantry just because of their massive armor-piercing damage. Um, look at that, 90 kills on Sartharel. Just really, really, really good. And I, li I do like bringing these exalted heroes to try and snipe my heroes. Um, if he had just maybe started earlier with these guys, um, he would have been able to take one of the Rune Lord or Rune Smiths off the field. Um, and that would have been a huge blow and potentially game changing. Um, yeah. Uh, let's take a look over here. Dwarf Warriors did almost nothing across the board. Um, the Great Weapons got slightly more. Um, the Dragonback Slayers about the same. Goblover 43. Um, but he just really didn't have that big of an army um, because of like the 12 units and the Aspiring Champions, the like 12 trolls, um, a lot of money spent on heroes. There just wasn't a lot to kill here. Um, and a lot of it you can see actually routed. Just like half his army um, didn't he actually die. It just left the battlefield. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyways, good game to my opponent. Um, donut, and that's that.